ओम नम शिवाय आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू आर चैनल द आर्ट ऑफ फॉर्चून टेलिंग हियर वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट अ डिस्कोर्स ऑन प्रैक्टिकल एप्लीकेशन ऑफ वैदिक एस्ट्रोलॉजी सो वेर इन वील बी डिस्कसिंग द बेसिक टेनेट्स ऑफ एस वैदिक एस्ट्रोलॉजी दिस वीडियो इज अ वेरी वेरी बेसिक फंडामेंटल इंट्रोडक्शन टू द डिटर्मिनेंट्स ऑफ एस्ट्रोलॉजी सो वी अंडरस्टैंड एस्ट्रोलॉजी इज द स्टडी ऑफ इम्पैक्ट ऑफ मोमेंट्स ऑफ सेलेशियल बॉडीज और प्लैनेट्स विच आर नाइन प्लैनेट्स थ्रू ट्वेंटी सेवन कॉन्स्टिट्यूशंस विच आर डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड अमॉन्ग ट्वेल्व जॉडी एक्स साइंस ऑन द डे टू डे लाइफ ऑफ एन इंडिविजुअल एंटिटी आई कॉल दैम एंटिटी बिकॉज दे कैन बी ह्यूमन बींग्स एनिमल्स और एनी कॉरपोरेशन और मे बी अ स्टेट और अ कंट्री और एनी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इंस्टीट्यूशन एक्सेट्रा एस्ट्रोलॉजी हेल्प्स इज अंडरस्टैंड हाउ द प्लेसमेंट ऑफ ईच प्लानट इन अ पर्टिकुलर जॉडी एक्स साइन ऑफ एन एंटिटी एट द टाइम ऑफ इट्स बर्थ और कमिंग इन टू एग्जिस्टेंस डिटरमाइंस इट्स नेचर इवेंट्स पास्ट प्रेजेंट एंड फ्यूचर एंड ऑल्सो द रीजन फॉर इट्स एग्जिस्टेंस टाइमिंग ऑफ वेरियस इवेंट्स एक्सेट्रा so the fundamental three determinants of vedic astrology are planets zodiac signs bhavas also known as the houses so there are nine planets as we can see the first one is the sun the modern science calls it a star because it can generate its own its own heat and light but वैदिक एस्ट्रोलॉजी कॉल्स इट दस कॉल्स इट अ प्लैनेट अ ग्रह एंड इट हैज गिवन इट द प्लेस ऑफ अ किंग अमॉन्ग द नाइन प्लैनेट्स ऑफ वैदिक एस्ट्रोलॉजी द नेक्स्ट प्लैनेट इज अ मून या वी नो इट्स अ इट्स सैटेलाइट ऑफ अर्थ बट बट वैदिक एस्ट्रोलॉजी हैज गिवन इट अ पोजिशन ऑफ नेक्स्ट टू सन एंड इट इज a soft planet then is the planet mars it it is the commander in the hierarchy of planets it's known for its anger aggression then is jupiter brihaspati gurudev this planet is known to be the teacher of all gods then fifth one is a mercury mercury as a planet is known as the prince is given the prince uh, the position of the prince among the hierarchy of planets it is known for its youthfulness wittiness intelligence sixth planet is the venus venus is the most important planet in this kaliyuga as it is responsible for all the luxuries and materialistic pleasures that we uh, everybody covets the seventh planet planet is the most dreaded planet which actually is not but people are fearful of this planet that is saturn shani the most impartial planet of all the planet of servitude is a uh, planet saturn then are the planets rahu and the ketu the the story is po- very popular the mythological story that when the samudra manthana was happening during the churning of the ocean the nectar came out and when the nectar was being distributed among the devas a rakshasa came in between sat in between the sun and the moon and also happened to take a sip of it and become immortal but in the meanwhile lord vishnu learned about it and lord vishnu happened to use uh, cut the throat through with his sudarshana chakra and now they revolve one each one in each direction away from one another among the planets in the constellation they are uh, known as the shadow planet they do not actually exist but they are called as a shadow planets 
now we discuss the zodiac signs there are 12 zodiac signs aries taurus gemini cancer leo virgo libra scorpio sagittarius capricorn aquarius and pisces the first sign is aries and likewise twelfth sign is pisces we will discuss uh, in detail about each sign in our coming videos as well we will discuss in detail about each of these planets their attributes assigned to each planet in our coming videos now we discuss about the third determinant that is the houses so a natives lagna patrika or a kundali looks typically like this wherein it is a quadrilateral inside a quadrilateral and uh, there is an uh, diagonal the diagonal the, there are two diagonals crisscrossing each other so the first house if you read anybody's chart the first house is exactly where the first house is written similarly the second house third house fourth house fifth house sixth house seventh house eighth house ninth house tenth house eleventh house and twelfth house so these twelve houses are placed as they are written on the left hand side and on the right hand side there are numerical numbers written like 1 2 3 4 5 6 till 12 whereas under the one there is written as an as ascendant or la lagna now we have to try and understand these 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 are the denotions of the zodiac signs and wherever the ascendant or the lagna is written it implies even if it is not written the first house on the left hand side will remain the first house in any lagna uh, kundali all right so now if if the kundali starts from a number 2 like like this like 2 3 4 5 6 until 1 then we understand that the lagna or the ascendant is of the second sign so the second sign is as we had seen here the second sign is taurus and the first sign is Aries. Likewise, if the ascendant of Lagna, it is, it is it is written as one. That means it is an Aries sign Lagna Patrika. If two is written, then it's a Taurus sign Lagna Patrika. And likewise, if twelve is written, it's a Pisces sign Lagna Patrika. Now this is one typical denotion of a Lagna Patrika. There is another kind of a denotion, which is more popular in uh, the southern part of uh, this country that is here too it is uh, the denotion the understanding is all the more same however the planets the houses are placed on the edge of this quadrilateral and the first house starts from the second column of the first row so wherever the ascendant of lagna is written will be the first house regardless of the number given to that house and even if the ascendant or lagna is not mentioned the second cell of the first row becomes the first house as per this denotion of a native's chart. Okay, for example, this has this Aries uh, Lagna chart, then this is the Taurus Lagna chart. The denotion is different, whereas the understanding and implication and working is all similar to the one explained earlier. And in the center of this chart, we have mentioned the details of the native like date time place and name of the native which is very very crucial in determining the natives chart so thank you for watching this video in our next videos we will uh, discuss one one in detail about the planets the zodiac signs and the houses like what one thing signifies what what sun signifies in the planets what what aries zodiac sign signifies and what first house signifies etc so that we will be better be able to understand their implication in combination so thanks a lot again for watching may kindly like to show some love by liking the video sharing among your near and dear and if you like the work and you want to see more such videos may kindly subscribe and do not forget to hit the bell button om namah shivaya